today what we're gonna do, just like with the the usual kind of protocol with these jam workshops, mm -hmm. is we're gonna learn a tune and uh, kind of the melody of it, and then we're gonna break it down and learn the chords and just some fun ways to play the chords, kind of backing up and things like that. So yeah, the tune that we're playing today, if you guys saw, um, is a Swedish polska, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it <laughs> because I know I'll get it wrong, <laughs> but, uh, but you can see the name in the email I sent. And basically a polska is a type of dance. So like in, if you're familiar at all with Irish tunes or Scottish, how we have jigs and reels, those are popular forms of dance in those traditions. In the classical tradition, we have sonatas and partitas and minuets and you know, all kinds of different things, gavats. So this is just a type of dance form in Sweden. And this tune is in 3-4 time, which makes it a little bit unusual and we'll kind of talk about the rhythm and kind of the, the timing and everything like that as we go along. Um, we are in D major. This is something we had a conversation about because we were trying to figure out if it was, it was in D or A. It's definitely in D. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start by just playing a D major scale to start. We'll start on the open D string and we'll go up to our third finger D on the A string. So here we go. One, oh, and we'll do half notes. One, two, ready, go. do is Nate and I will play the tune so you guys can hear it and then you know we'll break down the melody starting with the first phrase and going from there so let's go ahead and just kick it off so one two three kind of string crossings and stuff like that which is a lot of fun and if you noticed there's a lot of little like diddly doos in there lots of little ornamentations and that is very true to the Swedish style um, again kind of going back to Irish music and using that as a comparison we have a lot of turns and flicks and things like that but in this case it's more trilly I would say. So we do have some turns and flicks, but they're in a different way. You can tell that it's stylistically different from the Irish tradition. So just a, a fun little comparison there, but we'll talk about ways to incorporate some of that. So let's start off with just this first phrase. Whenever you're ready, if you guys want to just repeat after me. So we're starting on the A string, open A on a down bow. <laughs> 